Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I want to give you some tips for when you attend networking events. Um, basically things that I think are really important for making the most out of the events you attend and getting you the most clients and you know or whatever your purpose is but giving you the most positive results from the experience and this is just based on my own experience attending networking events um, to be perfectly honest I think most networking events are kind of stupid uh, just because I think most people don't go there for the right reasons and you know I don't think they ask the right questions of others and I don't think they're really listening to others um, but anyway I'm gonna go over some tips here at you know for how I think you can make the most out of these events so the first thing is show up with a purpose you know why are you there why are you taking time out of your busy day to go to one of these things um, if you can't think of an answer or you know if you're just like well I'm just gonna show up there have a drink and I don't know maybe just get to you know just talk to random people and I don't know whatever it's like at a cool bar and I've heard good things about it no I mean you can do that on a Friday night you don't need to go to a networking event to try out a new bar go there with a purpose you know are you there to find a particular kind of client for your business are you there to network with you know find a business partner uh, what is your reason for being there figure that out beforehand because otherwise you're gonna go and you're gonna have a million pointless conversations you're not gonna get anywhere you're gonna come home you're probably gonna be drunk uh, you know you're gonna pass out you're gonna watch Netflix whatever you do and you just wasted three hours of your life so you'll go there with a purpose figure out if you have to write it down that's fine but you know figure out what are your goals and what are your desired outcomes from attending the event you know, like try to visualize like you know what's the best scenario the best case scenario of me going to this thing and what am I gonna walk away with a second tip bring a pen yes it's simple bring a pen because and this is actually because uh, I went to the first networking event I went to um, that was like a big event I got you know I ended up walking away with 20 or 30 business cards and I had no idea who they belong to I didn't you know you, you get to a point where you meet so many people at these things that you don't even remember them you don't like remember the specific people you might remember one or two out of 20 but you need to bring a pen so that way you can make little notes on the, on the business card right so you know you get a card from somebody immediately make a note like immediately make a note like you know say uh, it could be a one word thing it could be their name I don't whatever um, uh, usually their business card would have their name but uh, just make a note just so you remember the reason you met them and why it's important why it's significant and why you will want to contact them again and then listen to what other people are saying you know it, it, it's called a conversation you're not there to talk at them you're there to talk to them and collect information from them um, it, it's amazing like people with these things there, there's two types of people right there's there's like the people who 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 can't stop talking at these things who are just like going on and on and on about nonsense or about their cars or their you know their their business that they think is so big but they really only have one customer right like there's and then there's the, the other kind of person that's just kind of like you know just doesn't really have anything to say you want to be somewhere in between those two right you, like you want to talk to people you want to share your ideas but you really need to listen to what they're saying because you, you never know like they, they might give you that one sentence that one soundbite of like well I'm looking for someone to help me with my SEO well I do SEO you know let's let's talk about it right or like they might have a tiny issue with you know something in their sales funnel that they happen to bring up like you know I'm trying this one-time offer but it's not panning out I'm not getting the ROI that I was expecting you know hop in like absorb what they're saying and then figure out how you can fit into that mold and, and make their lives better because that's why you're there right you're there I mean you're there for people to help you but if you're helping people you're gaining clients and you're making money and it's, it's all good so listen to what other people are saying keep keep your ears open at all times figure out how you can provide value to people right I mean we're, we're, we're so selfish sometimes like we 
we want as much value from others as we could possibly grab. But you need to focus on giving other people value and it, it'll come back to you. Like the more value you provide, like hopefully me doing this video right now gives you enough value to, you know, go out and I don't know, do well at a networking event. And then like, I'll feel good that you took the advice and you've made the most of it. So I don't know, just provide value. That's a, a tangent, but whatever. Um, but it's, it's a two-sided coin. You know, you also don't want to go in there and, and start talking about your favorite bar or your favorite baseball team for 10 minutes straight and you just wasted 10 minutes and you didn't talk about business and then you finally get to the business after 10 minutes and it's like, well, I, you know, I do SEO. Oh, well, um, I'm, a, I'm a car mechanic and, uh, you know, I don't have a website, I, I, you know, or, you know, I, I don't care about websites or anything. Like, I don't need one. I, you know. It's like, well, then we just wasted 10 minutes of our time. Yeah, again, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but you have to go to these things with a real, like, utilitarian mindset. You know, you, you got you to gotta be looking for people who, you know, I hate to say it, but who are going to benefit you, right? Like, both ways, you know, because then you're, wa you're wasting their time, too, if it's 10 minutes of nonsense and then you can't help them. Um, like, so my thing is I have a two-minute rule. If we can't get past like the niceties, you know, the small talk, I hate small talk, but if we can't get past the, the small talk, like barrier within the first two minutes of meeting, then I just, I'm just going to walk away. Don't be rude about it. Just, you know, just say, okay, well, it was nice meeting you, you know, best of luck, whatever. Just, just get out of that conversation because you're wasting your time. You know, you could have that conversation at, at the gym or at a bar or at a, you know, a coffee shop. Like you don't need to do that at this event where your purpose is to build your business and make more money and you know it's just stupid but you know that's a hard thing to avoid because you are going to run into those situations and um you know and again don't be rude just if you feel like it's not going anywhere just find a way out of it as quickly as possible and you'll be saving your time and the other person's time and then it, it sounds simple, but, and I've been guilty of this at times, but watch your alcohol. Like a lot of these events will give you one or two drink tickets, you know, cause they're trying to get people through the door and that's fine. You can have one or two drinks, nothing wrong with having a couple beers or a couple glasses of wine, especially if you just got off work or something, that's fine. I mean, it, it loosens you up. It makes you, you know, you're more open to talk to people, whatever. Um, but just, Dude, just don't let it get out of hand. You know, don't don't do three, four, five, six, you know, vodka, whatever, vodka cranberries or martini, whatever you drink. Like, just don't have more than two drinks, um, <clears throat> because then it's just it's not going to become. Again, it goes back to value, and you know, you might think you're hilarious after a couple drinks, but you're not there to be hilarious. <laughs> like, you're there to to build your business and make money. Right. And then find those people who are going to who are going to help you and that you're going to help as well. Um, it's really hard to do that when you're just there and you're just getting drunk and then you won't remember half of it the next day and you'll feel it's just it's stupid. So use common sense. Don't over drink. Um, that leads us to our last thing. So I guess this is supposed to be number six. Oops. But sort of related to the drinking. Um, it is. It's astonishing how many people go to these things for the sole purpose of hooking up. I mean, like I've literally met people that they'll, they'll tell me like other dudes there will, will tell me they'll be like, oh, I'm just mostly here just to kind of, you know, maybe meet it, meet someone or like hook up or something. I'm like, wait, is this an online, is this a, like a dating freaking meetup group that I didn't know about? Is this like a, a plenty of fish meet up in in the city like <laughs> I, I thought this was a networking event it, it's just it's amazing to me and of course it goes back to this point about not over drinking because oftentimes people don't go there looking to hook up but one thing leads to another I get it and listen I'm not trying to be a prude about this right like stuff happens but it's just if that's your reason for going then you need to really take a look in the mirror and think, do I have the discipline to make this business work? Like, I'm, I'm being dead serious. If you're going to a networking event for the sole purpose of hooking up and nothing else, 
then I don't think your business is ever going to grow to any significant height. Um, so you should definitely reevaluate that aspect of your life and maybe try again next time. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, the rest is just use common sense, right? When you go to these things, I mean, most of these are common sense, but when you go to these things, just be smart. Um, try to provide value and try to seek value in return. And uh, best of luck out there with your networking. Um, yeah, if this was useful in any way, feel free to like, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to come out with some more content about entrepreneurship and hopefully interview some successful solopreneurs pretty soon. That's the name of the channel, uh, Digital Solopreneurs. So um, I think I'm going to define solopreneur in a video because that's that could be a whole video just talking about what that means. Um, so anyway, until next time, bye.